This is City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a crafty Dollar Tree haul. The first thing that I got was this set of two snowflake ornaments. And I was thinking I could use these on a scrapbook page, almost as doilies, maybe peeking out from behind the photo. They are super thin and they're really sparkly. They're not too heavy. So I thought I would give that a try. I also got two of these ornaments, and I also don't plan on using these as ornaments. They have these great leaves and buds, and I thought those would look really great on a scrapbook page uh, as on some kind of a Christmas or winter layout. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this part. There's three of these flowers, I believe they are, on both sides. So I thought when I'm cutting them apart for the leaves, I would see if I could use those as well. I picked up two of those. I also got these. I've purchased these before. They have lots of different colors. They're such a great buy. 216 self-adhesive pearls for a dollar. It seems like such a great bargain. They had them in also like a dark pink and a few other colors too, red. But I picked them up in this uh, lavender color this uh, blue minty blue color and then two of the regular pearl color and I get a lot of use out of those. I also picked up this. This is a repurchase. This must have just been left over from the summer. I purchased one of them and then I thought I probably will need to have three of these if I use them on a page. You know, when you use things in threes, it looks balanced. So I thought I would just pick up one more of them since I only saw one more. I also picked this up. This is the vase filler, but I thought that this would be cute to have as little embellishments around the scrapbook pages. And they also had it in red and silver, but I just wanted to try it out. So I picked it up in gold because that's the color that I would use the most. And they have all, they always seem to have these at Dollar Tree. This is a great buy, three palette knives for a dollar. I was super excited to find these. These are metal titles. So the Halloween one says haunted, spooky, and beware. They are nice and lightweight and they are thin and I thought they would look great on mixed media pages. So I Halloween is one of my favorite things to scrapbook. So I picked up three of the Halloween titles. And then for Christmas, they had Peace, Joy, and Believe. So I picked up two of those. And for the fall, they had Harvest, sorry, Thankful, Harvest, and Welcome. So I picked up three of those. And I was really excited to find those. I also picked up these two sets of stickers. I passed this up the last time I was there, and then I found a page I could use them on so I picked it up this time and then I thought these cute little mason jars and and mason jar type mugs would be super cute on a summer page too so I picked both of those up I also saw this sticker and I have a collection it's a I think it's a prima collection that I think this will go really well with so I picked this up and there's a little bit of dimension to them they pop up a slight bit but not too much so I got those. And these are pearls. These are loose pearls. And they have the hole in them. And I usually buy pearls with no hole, but it's such a good buy. All these pearls for a dollar. So four different sizes. So I thought it would be worth it for a dollar. And the holes are so tiny you can barely see them. I thought these were great. These are stencils. These stencils are just such a good buy. $2 for four stencils. This one says Happy Halloween, and I love the way the lettering is. Jack-o'-lantern and all these little Halloween images. And this one was my favorite with the haunted house in the background and then the graveyard one. I Oh, the spider I'm sure I'll use and the bat. I thought this was a great buy for a dollar a set. 
I also picked up some beads and I mainly use beads as embellishments on my scrapbook layouts. I mix them together with some um, heavy, super heavy gel in matte and I sprinkle them around my page. And I use white a lot, so I thought that these would be perfect. And I make use of all the colors somewhere along the way. So you really can't get better, get a better buy than a dollar on those. I also picked up these ornaments. These were a, a set of two. And these aren't as thin as the snowflakes, but they're still fairly thin. And I thought that these would just be stunning on a scrapbook page. So I thought I would give that a try. And I love the way you get two for a dollar. I also got these ornaments and I had kind of the same thing in mind that I did for the other snowflake ornaments that I bought. They are clear, they're lightweight, they're flat. I thought they could be used almost as a doily on the page. This one, I kind of feel like it might be too big, but I'm not sure. It might end up being like really stunning. So I thought for a dollar each, I would just pick up, um, one set of each and there are 10 of these six of these and three of those so again super great buy i bought this i bought something really similar to this in michael's and i paid so much more for it so when i saw this in red because i picked it up in orange i picked it up and they didn't have any others so i probably missed the other uh, thanksgiving or fall kind of garlands like this that they had, but I was happy to find this one. I also found, and they have a big selection of these, uh, this, it's a, like a, a pine tree kind of uh, stem, and there's a lot of glitter coming off of these, so I would coat them with some uh, Liquitex gel medium just to keep the glitter from going everywhere on, on my scrapbooks. But I just thought this was a very delicate looking, uh, looking leaf or um, stem. I always look for this kind of thing in the stems at the other craft stores, but this one is a particularly nice one. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked this up. I believe it's the same thing. This one is in kind of a coppery color and this one is in a gold color that is my fairly quick dollar tree haul and i hope everybody has a great day and thank you for liking and subscribing and i will see everybody again soon take care everybody bye bye